Man, guys, you won't believe how much I paid for this vehicle. Got low miles, tinted windows, everything. going on guys just picked up a um, 2013 Chevy Malibu just picked it up to, uh, to flip it that's all I ain't gonna I ain't gonna keep it for myself I'm uh, probably gonna flip it it got a few scratches and a couple no dings in it but I mean what I got it for it's not bad it's 2013 can't complain at all Deal. Um, inside a little dirty, but you know, that's why I brought my hand sanitizer with me and the um, and uh, the disinfectant spray. Man, I sprayed it over everywhere. I, I'm gonna end up having to clean it anyway, but I sprayed it. I spray every. I wear everything in here, so I just hope I don't stain the uh, the dash and stuff. But yeah, let me get to the back seat. Like I said, it's a little dirty, but what I got it for, you can't beat it. And man, instead of, of y'all spending like them, them uh, stimulus checks, man, either either save them or try to flip them. I mean, I understand some people got to spend uh, spend it on bills. You got to do what you got to do. But if you can afford to invest them, man, invest it. You know, buy some used iPhones or some used. Uh, Samsung Galaxy phones and, and, and try to flip them or or anything. It, it's better than just getting it and spending it. Cause once it's spent it, the money gone. Unless, like I said, unless you got bills, then you gotta do what you gotta do. But you know, times are hard and people don't realize that money is to help you get ahead, not to be balling out to enjoy yourself. You know, like I said, it's real dirty in here, but I mean it's not it's not bad. Like all this stuff clear, just like the floors. In the winter, I don't know where. Let me put this key in here. No lights on the dash. It's actually rad good. No lights on on the dash. Like I said, I had to go like two hours to go get it, but it was it was worth it. And what I got it for, you can't you can't beat it. You know, radio. I like this right here. Little stash spot up in here. I mean, it got Bluetooth. It got Bluetooth and everything. Nice little radio. But what I'm finna do, so I can get a little bit extra cash off of it when I sell it, I'm gonna go get me some, um, I'm gonna leave the radio here. I ain't gonna change that. I'm gonna put an alarm and a remote starter on here. And it don't have, I believe it don't have them curtains off. It don't have fall lights. Let me see. I don't think it have fall lights. Nope, it don't got no fall lights. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna end up ordering some some fall lights for it, some aftermarket fall lights, and probably the LED bulbs for the fall lights, and then do some LED lights and the headlights so it can match, just to make it look a bit more updated. Like I like clean it up, you know. You know them newer vehicles had a, uh, like the LED lights or the HID lights and then it have the um, the fall lights. I want to kind of make it look like that. I mean the tires on here is good. Look at the tires. All the stuff on here pretty much pretty much good. So oh yeah, let me see how many miles it got on it. <sighs> I know it was around one something. I wasn't pretty sure. I really didn't care about the miles. You no, know, like I said, after I drove it, because I was what I got it for, you can't beat it. And I'm gonna sell it regardless of the miles. Let me see. See? 104,000 miles. That ain't really no miles. That's practically brand new. People consider this brand new car. Yeah, I mean it don't got no roof, but 
I leave that to for whoever gonna buy it. No, I could get a roof cut in it, but then I might well put rims on it. Then I'm gonna get more into the car. You know, the more you put into it, you know, the higher you gotta sell it. And you don't wanna put too much into it where it ain't worth what you're selling it for, but yeah. Yeah. What else? Trunk pretty decent. Uh yeah, make sure I just covered everything. Make sure I covered everything. Let's see. Let me back up off of it a little bit. Yeah, like I said, I got a little few decent things, but man, if I if I tell y'all guys what I got it for, y'all wouldn't believe it. You know? I'm always trying to um I'm always trying to make a flip. I can never have enough money or enough jobs. Like every time you, if you think that you got enough money or you got enough jobs, then you sadly mistaken. I don't care what, how much you make. You know, cause there's always gonna be something, some bills and always can, you know, you never know what's gonna happen. Like all these people out here spending these stimulus checks, just all willy nilly. You don't know what's gonna happen. This pandemic can get worse. You know it can get worse than what it is and then you spent all your money i mean don't get me wrong some people them fourteen hundred dollars ain't a lot a lot of money but i mean you can go buy you a car and flip that buy another one flip that and then keep getting the profit buying newer and better cars and pretty soon you'll be buying two cars three cars and that's what i be doing sometimes you know then i buy like like get like iphones or little phones or things i can sell you no know, tires, rims, and you know, you got all these, op these apps I had off of Craigslist, you know, uh, the marketplace on Facebook. There's plenty of ways to make money. So when people say it ain't no money out here, it's money out here. You just got to figure out how to get it, just like anything else. You know, just like the, um, just like, like back in the day, you know, with the caveman, you know, you're looking for food or whatever like that. You find a walnut, you don't know what it is, you know. You just gotta figure out how to get it. You can't say it ain't nothing to eat. It's something to eat. You just gotta figure out how to get inside that shell and get that, that peanut out. You know? But yeah. It's my 2013 Chevy Malibu. Stay tuned, because like I said, I'm gonna do the fall lights. I'm gonna do the um, the alarm and remote start. And um, the LED lights. And then I'm probably just gonna I'm gonna flip it after that. You know, it, it, it ran good. And I think it was well worth the investment. Cause once I clean it up, clean the inside out, put all that stuff on here, it's gonna sell. Especially what I'm selling for. See, I'm glad I got it that cheap. So when I sell it, it's still gonna be an unbelievable price. You know? Cause a lot of times when you back cars too high, you, you only can make a little bit of profit, but I'm gonna make a nice profit out of, off of here. And you know, I had a 2010 Malibu before, and that joker wasn't that fast, it was kinda slow, but this 2014 got like 160 on the dash, and it's kinda fast. I mean, to be a Malibu, like when I was really getting into it on the expressway, the thing was moving. I couldn't believe it. You know, I like the car, you know? It ain't my style, and honestly, I'm not gonna keep it, but I, I kinda like it, you know? So, uh, it don't make no sense how people, how you could be next to some garbage cans and the vacuum cleaner. You still got stuff all over the uh, ground. And this is how people get sick. You know, you don't know if kids gonna pick this stuff up or what. You know, you got masks, masks everywhere. What's the point of having a garbage next to the guy? I ain't never seen nobody next to about 18 garbage cans and still throwing stuff on the ground. You don't respect your neighborhood, nobody else gonna respect it. But uh, anyway, I don't wanna get off subject on here. This is my 2013 Malibu. Just picked up, finna possibly uh, flip it and try to grab something else. And uh, that's it, man. I'll catch y'all on the next video. Y'all stay prayed up, stay safe. Don't forget to comment, like, subscribe if you want to see more of these videos. And I'll catch you guys on the next video. And I'm out. Later. Perfect.